I've summed up my five takeaways and thoughts about this book in this video. I highly recommend you to read the original book of the author. Please share with me your opinion about this book in the comments below. Green Electrical Energy Storage is a comprehensive guide that offers insights into the intricate world of energy storage technologies. The book takes a deep dive into energy storage, specifically electrical energy, and its importance in our modern world. The author highlights the significance of energy storage in developing sustainable and eco-friendly solutions to combat the adverse effects of greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. The book is divided into chapters, each of which discusses various aspects of energy storage. The first chapter provides an overview of the importance of clean energy and its role in advancing the concept of sustainable development. The chapter discusses the need for energy storage, specifically electrical energy storage, to integrate renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power into the power grid. The second chapter discusses the various types of energy storage technologies available, including mechanical, chemical, electrochemical, and thermal storage systems. The author provides a detailed description of each storage technology, including its working principle, advantages, and limitations. This chapter also covers the various applications of these storage technologies, from small-scale residential use to large-scale industrial applications. The subsequent chapters delve deeper into the various types of energy storage technologies. The third chapter discusses mechanical energy storage, describing the different types of mechanical storage systems such as pumped hydro, flywheels, compressed air energy storage, and mechanical springs. The fourth chapter focuses on chemical energy storage, covering battery technologies such as lead acid, sodium sulfur, and lithium ion batteries. The fifth chapter of the book is dedicated to electrochemical energy storage, which includes fuel cells and supercapacitors. The author provides a detailed explanation of how electrochemical storage works, along with the different applications of these storage systems. The sixth chapter of the book covers thermal energy storage, with a discussion of energy storage systems such as molten salt, phase change materials, and ice storage systems. The final chapter of the book presents an overview of the challenges associated with energy storage integration into the existing power grid. The author discusses the need for advanced technologies to improve energy storage systems efficiency, capacity, and reliability. The chapter also provides insight into future developments in energy storage technology and the potential impact on the energy industry. In conclusion, Green Electrical Energy Storage is an essential guide for anyone interested in renewable energy, electrical energy storage, and sustainable development. The book provides a comprehensive overview of energy storage technologies, applications, and challenges, making it an ideal reference for students, researchers, and professionals in the field. The first main point of the book emphasizes the critical need for sustainable, and eco-friendly energy storage solutions to combat the negative impacts of greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. The author argues that renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power have the potential to reduce carbon emissions and mitigate the effects of climate change. However, the intermittent nature of these energy sources poses significant challenges for long-term use and integration with the existing power grid. This is where energy storage comes into play. Electrical energy storage systems provide a means for storing excess energy generated by renewable energy sources during periods of low demand and releasing it during times of high demand. This helps to ensure a stable and reliable electricity supply from renewable energy sources, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and promoting sustainable development. The book highlights the potential benefits of incorporating energy storage technologies into renewable energy systems, such as increased grid stability, reduced energy costs, and improved energy efficiency. The author also discusses the role of government policies, regulations, and incentives in promoting the adoption and deployment of sustainable energy storage systems. Overall, the first main point emphasizes the importance of adopting eco-friendly and sustainable energy storage solutions to combat climate change 
and promote a more sustainable future. Energy storage technologies have the potential to revolutionize the energy industry, creating new opportunities for sustainable growth while reducing the negative impacts of greenhouse gas emissions. The second main point of the book is a comprehensive discussion of the different types of energy storage technologies that are available. The author categorizes these technologies into four main types, mechanical storage, chemical storage, electrochemical storage, and thermal storage systems. Mechanical energy storage systems, as the name suggests, store energy by using mechanical means. Examples of mechanical storage systems include pumped hydroelectricity storage, compressed air energy storage, CAES, flywheels, and mechanical springs. These methods use different mechanical mechanisms to store energy in the form of potential energy, kinetic energy, or elastic energy. Chemical energy storage systems use chemical reactions to store energy. Examples of chemical energy storage systems include lead acid batteries, sodium sulfur batteries, and lithium ion batteries, which are commonly used in electric vehicles and renewable energy systems. Electrochemical energy storage systems on the other hand, use chemical reactions between electrodes and electrolytes to store and release energy. Examples of electrochemical storage systems include redox flow batteries, fuel cells, and supercapacitors. Thermal storage systems store energy in the form of heat or cold. Some examples of thermal storage systems are molten salt, phase change materials, and ice storage systems. Each type of energy storage system has its advantages and limitations. The author provides a detailed description of each storage technology, including how they work, their applications, and the pros and cons of each system. The book also discusses the potential future developments in each energy storage technology, providing useful insights into the evolution of the energy industry. Overall, the second main point of the book presents an in-depth overview of the various energy storage technologies and their potential applications. Through this discussion, the author helps the readers understand the complexities of energy storage systems, enabling them to make informed decisions about which storage solution is best suited for their specific needs. The third main point of the book discusses mechanical energy storage in detail. Mechanical energy storage systems store energy by using mechanical means, such as potential energy, kinetic energy, or elastic energy. These energy storage systems are widely used in various industries including, but not limited to, electric power generation, transportation, robotics, and aerospace. Pumped hydroelectricity storage is the most widely used mechanical energy storage system, accounting for approximately 97% of the globally installed mechanical energy storage capacity. This system uses potential energy in water to store and release energy by pumping water from a lower elevation reservoir to a higher elevation reservoir during periods of low electricity demand and releasing it back to the lower reservoir when energy demand is high. Compressed Air Energy Storage CAES, is another mechanical energy storage system that stores energy by compressing air into underground reservoirs. During periods of low electricity demand, air is compressed and stored in underground caverns. When energy demand increases, the compressed air is released and used to power turbines that generate electricity. Flywheels are another mechanical energy storage technology that stores energy as kinetic energy. Flywheels are essentially mechanical batteries that store energy by spinning a rotor at high speeds. The stored energy can be used to power turbines that generate electricity during periods of high demand. Mechanical springs are a newer energy storage technology that stores energy as potential energy in the form of compressed or stretched springs. The stored energy can be used to power vehicles or other mechanical systems that require a burst of energy. Overall, the third main point of the book provides an in-depth discussion of mechanical energy storage technologies, including how they work, their advantages and limitations, and their potential applications in various industries. The author presents technical details and insights on energy storage systems that will help readers to understand the different options available and decide which system is best for their particular needs.
The fourth main point of the book discusses electrochemical energy storage, which uses chemical reactions between electrodes and electrolytes to store and release energy. These storage systems include redox flow batteries, fuel cells, and supercapacitors. Redox flow batteries are an electrochemical storage system that stores energy in a liquid electrolyte solution. The electrolyte solution flows through the battery and is stored in tanks outside the battery. During periods of low energy demand, the battery charges by pumping the electrolyte solution to the tanks, and during periods of high energy demand, the electrolyte solution flows back to the battery to generate electricity. Fuel cells, on the other hand, convert chemical energy into electrical energy using a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Fuel cells have high energy conversion efficiency and are increasingly being used in various applications, including transportation and stationary power generation. Supercapacitors are another electrochemical energy storage system that has high power density and fast charging and discharging capabilities. They store energy in an electric field between two electrodes and can be charged and discharged quickly. The author explores the various advantages and limitations of electrochemical energy storage systems, including their efficiency, lifespan, and cost. The book also covers the applications of these systems in various industries and the potential future developments in this technology. Overall, the fourth main point of the book provides a comprehensive overview of electrochemical energy storage systems, their working principle, advantages, limitations, applications, and future development prospects. The author presents a detailed analysis of this technology, which will help readers to understand the key factors that determine the suitability of electrochemical energy storage systems for a given application. The fifth main point of the book discusses the challenges associated with energy storage integration into the existing power grid. The author highlights the importance of energy storage in ensuring a reliable and stable electricity supply from renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power, but also acknowledges the challenges that come with integrating these technologies into the power grid. One of the key challenges of energy storage integration is the lack of a standardized framework for energy storage systems. The author suggests that standardization of energy storage systems can help improve interoperability and make it easier to integrate these systems into the power grid. Another challenge is the high cost of energy storage systems. The author discusses the ongoing efforts to reduce the cost of energy storage systems, such as the development of new materials, manufacturing processes, and government incentives. An additional challenge is the limited availability of suitable sites for energy storage systems, such as pumped hydroelectricity storage and compressed air energy storage. The author recommends exploring alternative energy storage technologies such as mechanical springs, flywheels, and electrochemical storage systems to overcome these site constraints. Finally, the book discusses the need for advanced technologies to improve energy storage systems efficiency, capacity, and reliability. The author suggests that the development of high-capacity and high-efficiency energy storage systems can help overcome the challenges associated with energy storage integration. Overall, the fifth main point of the book presents an overview of the challenges associated with energy storage integration into the power grid. The author highlights the need for an appropriate regulatory framework, cost-effective technologies, suitable sites, and advanced energy storage systems to overcome the challenges. Understanding these challenges and addressing them is critical for the successful integration of energy storage systems into the power grid to support the transition to renewable energy sources and promote sustainable development. Thank you for your interest in this book. Please leave your feedback on these thoughts in the comments below, or just put a like on this video. It will help me stay motivated and make more videos like this. In the description of this video, you may find links where you can purchase this book.